DVC extension for VS Code product update. Today I'm going to be talking about plot errors. So the first thing that we're going to do is select some experiments to plot. And we'll just do that with all the experiments that we have. The experiments table. Um, I'll just show you now that we have added a little indicator here to show you that um, plots have been selected underneath the commit record. If the commit's collapsed, you can do the same thing for stars. Basically, that's just so that you don't lose information even if you have collapsed that commit record. Anyway, back to plots. So, if we go and open the plots web view, we can see that everything's plotted and that's all good and well. Because we've got the workspace selected, that means that we can do things like update the Y label on a Dines Copilot on a graph and have that reflected in the plot, which is all good. Um, the next thing is if we do something silly, like make a bit of an error, we'll now actually show in the plots that there's been an error. Um, we'll, hey. we'll also show um, in the tree that there's been an error as well. Um, which you can then work out from the error message exactly what's gone wrong. So we'll go and we'll reset DVC YAML now. And that should take us back to everything being okay. So no errors. Um, if we did something stupider, i.e. completely corrupt the YAML file, uh, then we'll see that... Hello, all <laughs> Cheers, mate. Want for juice? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Then we'll, we'll see that um, for the workspace, none of these plots can be rendered anymore. Um, there's obviously an error on there for the workspace as well. And we can see from up here that we've been unable to read the DVC YAML file because it's corrupted. So, yep, that's that done too. Um, all right, that's the end of this update. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this product update video, please like and subscribe. Thanks, DV. And feel free to post comments and questions below. On our YouTube channel, we share videos on product updates, tutorials, and how members of our community use our tools as they solve problems in their domain spanning a wide variety of fields in the machine learning and AI space. See the description below to find links in the docs for our tools. Also visit our blog where you can find tutorials on our tools as well as product and company news. Join our Discord server to get support help others grappling with the same issues as you, connect with other like-minded folks, and discuss our tools or other topics in the MLOps space. We also have a job channel where you can find relevant job opportunities in the space. Finally, if you're really serious about taking your MLOps skills to the next level, we offer a free online course that is designed to help you understand the iterative philosophy and achieve your MLOps goals. Thanks for making it to the end. Devi and I will see you in the next video.